Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced increased restrictions could be coming to his state's so-called don't say gay bill. Yeah, the proposal is just one of many measures critics say targets children in the LBG, LGBTQ community across the country. ABC's Tim Pulliam reports. Florida governor and presumed 2024 presidential candidate Ron DeSantis announcing today plans to expand a Florida state law banning classroom instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity issues to all grades, including high school. DeSantis proposing for grades 4 through 12, lessons on both topics would be prohibited unless they were required by state academic standards or part of a reproductive health course, which parents can opt out of. The White House calling DeSantis's proposed expansion to Florida's law disturbing and dangerous. It's wrong. It's completely, utterly uh, wrong. The governor's announcement coming as 17 states have either established or advanced laws targeting the LGBTQ plus community. According to the Human Rights Campaign, half of trans youth live in states that have passed or are considering policies that would deny them access to gender affirming care. In Indiana, loud protests at a state house committee meeting as legislators advanced a bill banning gender affirming care for transgender minors. I feel like I have something something to live for. And now what? You're just going to take it all away with this bill? It would cause far less harm for these kids to wait, get the counseling they need, and then let them make these life altering decisions as adults. In Georgia, the state Senate passed a partial ban on transgender health care for minors. And in West Virginia, the parents of a 12 year old transgender girl fighting to block a state ban on trans student athletes from taking effect. Her mother telling the U.S. Supreme Court, quote, she is a girl for as long as she can remember participating on girls teams at her middle school, harming no one. A public hearing on Florida's efforts to enact the expanded school policy is set for April 19th. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles.